So how do we hit the flop shot then? My rule number one is I open up the club face first. I'm using a 60 degree here. Then I'm going to retake my grip. So we've already got the loft on the face with a comfortable grip. Point number two, I want a nice wide stance with the handle low. This is just going to help me stay in, stay down so I can get that club working under the ball. Um, opening out the left toe as well is going to help to get some mobility in the turn. But the key thing from here though is the actual swing as well. So in that we want to feel like it's a nice wristy type long back swing which is going to give us the time to let that club drop underneath. And the key part down at impact is I want to see the club head overtake the hands to allow all that loft. It's not normally a long game movement we like, but definitely with the flop shot and a bit of the bunker play, is we want to see that club head overtake, feel like it's overtaking down at impact to get that launch up into the air. I don't want to rush the backswing. I don't want to feel like I'm accelerating too much. It's obviously not a deceleration as well, but I definitely want it to feel quite fluid through the ball like this. We don't want to kind of go long and decelerate, and we certainly don't really want to try and you know, rush at the ball and lean back. So, just to recap again there then, so I'm gonna open up the club face, get all that loft presented to the ball. I'm gonna open out my left toe, stay nice and low. Ball position just left of centre. And then the key from here is making sure it's a long wristy swing, but making sure that I'm gonna let that club head overtake down at the bottom. Let's give it a go. Under the pressure, I'll take that. 